what's up guys Akib here and welcome to this video so today you can see that I have a 9 man model in front of me in the viewport of blender along with the exoskeleton amazing so today we are doing the nanotech effect in blender 100% in blender all right so let's start the video some people move on Not us. So, a fun story I have to tell you that last night I saw a dream. I was watching my YouTube channel and the subscriber in a one moment get zero and after seeing that I was crying in the corner like little baby like tiktoker cries when they get breakup and I just walked woke up and shocked and I said to me hey Akib this is the time you have to you gotta do it you gotta do it and I'm here talking to you guys finally doing the tutorial. Thanks, 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 thank you very much. So uh, let's start the tutorial. So before uh, making any, before doing anything, just turn off the ambient occlusion and a skin a screen space reflection to save performance. And before uh, starting the shader settings, just go to my website, archibelief.com. And you can see that I have $3 Iron Man pack for VFX. So if you don't want to buy this, you don't have to. Just come up here down in the Nanya Technology section, click on the free shader and just download this free shader. So once you download that free shader, come up in the Blender and go to File, Append and Append that material to your scene file. Once you've done that, you gotta do simple steps. Just go to the, uh, let me turn off the Iron Man model and let's work on this base exo model. So go to the material selector and select this nanotech, gold nanotech. You can see we have few uh, channels, so I mean few texture masks, we don't need these. We just need this nanotech FX. So control C for copy, go back to the original material. Control V to paste that. Uh, let's drag this here in front of the uh, principal shader. Simply connect the normal to normal alpha to alpha and boom, we have uh, wait, we have to wait for the compiling. Few moments. Okay, the compiling is done. If we use this animation slider, you can see the nanotech is working immediately without doing anything. No setup, nothing. So let me just delete these. Uh, you can see that we have two empties here. So to show you how you can add your empty and connect the empty to What do you mean? I mean material, so let's delete these two empty. Once we delete them, shift right click on the chest on the arc reactor, shift A, uh, sorry, shift A to add empty plane access. Once you've done that, go back to the, uh, where is the material? Okay, here you go. So simply hit tab. Where is the tab? Tab. To open the group node. And in the mask generator, you can see that we have two texture coordinates. So disconnect the controller. And with the help of this object selector, select the empty just like that. And once you've done that, you can Control the position of the Iron Man exos I mean Iron Man 
uh, nano deck effects uh, with these with this empty you can see that you can control the position with this simple empty once you've done that then you are good to go this is the simple step you have to do we can control this with animation slider but we don't want to control this with simple slider so right click before doing anything simply control c for copy right click and ungroup once you ungroup that you have to go in the mass generator and look up for this subtract so subtract not uh, right click to clear the keyframes and make this uh, around here basically this is the animation slider so hit i for a keyframe that's i'm sorry wrong let's go back to the frame one and add around like 100 frames <clears throat> so go to the frame one hit i for adding a keyframe go to 100 frames and increase the value around uh, uh, maybe this and hit i again now if we play we have the nanotech working immediately like before so we done the uh, effect for exoskeleton now turn on the armor let's work on the armor this is easy this is easiest thing you have ever done in blender to achieve these kind of effects you don't have to do all the shader stuff because i'm giving you the power <clears throat> you understand me what i'm what i mean power of the sun in the palm of my hand of your hands <laughs> the power of nanotechnology let's start with the red control v for paste bring that here rag it here normal to normal by the way if you have normal map like i do and alpha to alpha so what do you have to do if you have normal map just simply connect that normal map to the normal input of the nanotech effects this is simple <clears throat> you can see that we can animate the red as well but we don't have to animate now before doing the animation connect the nanotech node to all of the shaders like gold and silver and the lights and the glass Once you've done that, go back to the any of the multi shader setup and click on this group node. Hit tab to open the group node and disconnect the animation uh, input from this subtract value. Like we've done that before with the EXO, but this time we have to disconnect that. Just disconnect it and right click clear the keyframes go back to frame zero set the value to minus you can see that we have the control of all of the object at one uh, um, you know i'm what i'm saying i'm not that good in english i'm learning so hit i for keyframe go back to 100 frames let's increase that around here and hit i if we play, you can see that the nano deck is working. You can play with the keyframe interpolation. If you don't know how to do that, then watch plenty of tutorials. That's what I'm doing. So I have given you the power of the sun in the palm of your hands. So the power of sun is solved. I already said that. I'm sorry. Alright, so bad joke. Yeah, 
That's how you can do the iron man effect in Blender. This is easy peasy, turn on ambient occlusion, screen space refraction and uh, motion blur and maybe bloom. I don't think bloom gonna work. Ah, it's working. I don't know what this knees radius means. I mean, I don't know the, I know the radius, but I don't know what is knee. It is knee of human. Does your knees have pain? I don't know either. All right, so you can see that we have a lot of details here. So if we increase the samples to 64, we gonna get some amazing details. All right, that's how you can do the Iron Man Nano Dag effect in Blender. So if you don't wanna do that, if you don't have the exoskeleton model, what you can do, just click on the first link in the description to, per, uh, to get the nanotech uh, Blender file along with the exoskeleton, along with the uh, Iron Man shader, Iron Man, Iron Man model, along with the textures, this full scene file you're gonna get and hope you enjoy this video and uh, hope I am not going to s mm, have any more dreams, bad dreams like the one I had before the last night. So.